Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this update that is KB506-2553 because of this error code that is 0x800705b9. To fix it, the first step is to pause and restart the update. So go to Windows Update and then click on pause over here. This process may take some time and then click on resume update. So just pause and restart the update and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to start app, app readiness service. Now for this type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Find app readiness, make a double click, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted. And then click on OK. And then make a right click and then click on restart. And then you can check still not working. The next step is to run update troubleshooter. Now for this, you can go to system, go to troubleshoot option, click on other troubleshooters. Here you can see windows update, click on run. And most of the time for now, it's not working for me, but you can try this. Maybe it will work for you. So here you can see run the windows update troubleshooter and then over here you can see the option which says I can't download, install or uninstall and update. Click on it. And here you can see can we run the Windows Update Automated Diagnostic. Click on yes. And this is where it never works. Just follow the on-screen instruction. If it works for you, you can continue. If it does not, then you can follow the next step. So in my case, I received some error over here. So here you can see Windows Update Diagnostic failed to run. This is what I, I always get. Would you like to talk to agent? So if you, are, if you want to talk to agent, you can click on yes. You can continue the chat. Or you can just follow the next step. Is, the next step is the restart Windows Update and Background Intelligent Transfer Service. Now for this, type in Services in Windows Search Box and then click on Services. Find Windows Update. Make a double click on Windows Update. Set this to Automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. With this selected, make a right click, click on restart. Now find background, intelligent transfer service, make a double click, set this to automatic. Apply, click on start if highlighted. And then click on OK. With this selected, make a right click, click on restart. Once this is done, now you can try to update your Windows 11 still not working. The next step is to use Windows 11 installation assistant. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see Windows 11 installation assistant. Click on download now. Run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. If there is any update, you will see the update now option or install option. In my case, it is already up to date. Still not working. The next step is to use Microsoft update catalog for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to Microsoft website over here write down the name of the update that is KB5062553 this is the update and then click on search over here for me it's Windows 11 version 24H2 x64 based system you can check what kind of system you have you can open Windows settings go to system Scroll down, go to about option and then you will see system type x64 in my case. So Windows 11 version 24H2 x64. Now click on download. And then over here you will see this KB5062553. Click on it. Once the download is complete, you can click on this file and you can install this update manually. Once the download is complete, this process will take some time and then restart your computer. You can even install this one and then restart your computer and then check still not working the next step is to reset windows update components now for this copy all these commands these commands are provided in the video description copy till here and then type in notepad in windows search box open notepad paste all the command over here go to file click on save as set the location as desktop you can name this file as wufix.bat and then for save as type select all files click on save 
now you can go to desktop make a right click on wu fix file and then make sure that you run this as an administrator click on yes to allow now first of all it will stop all the windows update services if you see this prompt type in y for yes hit the enter key so first of all it will stop all the windows update services and then it will run some scans now there are a couple of scans so if you see the command over here here you can see there are multiple scans so it will stop the windows update services then it will run these scans this scan once the scan is complete it will restart all the windows update services so the scan process because there are a couple of scans so the scan will take some time and once the scan is complete it will restart all the windows update services and once this is completely done once this is done now you have to restart your computer and then you can check still not working the next step is to use fix problems using windows update option now for this open windows settings go to windows update and then click on advanced option over here go to recovery option and then over here you can see the option which says fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so if you agree now this will not uh, get rid of your data here you can see your apps files and settings will be reserved so you can click on reinstall now this process will take some time and after uh, installation log into the computer and then you can check still not working the last step is to use media creation tool for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to again microsoft website on the same website scroll down here you can see media creation tool click on download now and once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see the screen click on accept and then by default windows 11 would be selected select next hit next and then select this iso file over here once you select iso file click on next and then you can set the location as uh, to desktop select desktop over here and then click on save and then let the download complete this process will take some time and once it is complete click on finish now once you click on finish you will see the screen let it close automatically do not close it manually this may take a couple of seconds and once this is closed go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file and then open this setup file make a double click on setup file and then click on yes to allow and then click on next over here and accept and then here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure keep personal files and app is checked over here and then click on install now once the installation is complete log into the computer and then you can check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this update successfully on your windows 11 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel